Howdy, hi, hey, hello. I'm gonna show you how to blur part of an image for free. This is something that I used to do in Photoshop, uh, but if you are between Photoshop subscriptions or just need another way to do it, the two I'm gonna go through are Canva, which is an app you can sign into through the website, and Awesome Screenshot, which is a browser extension. They have slightly different outputs which I'll show you at the end but basically Canva has a little bit more of a rounded brush effect whereas Awesome Screenshot you can get a bit more particular with the squarer edges and undoing and it's just got a little bit more functionality but if you don't have that browser extension Canva works quite well. We will start with the Canva demo so here we have a new browser window. You need to be logged into Canva to be able to download the blurred image. So I've already logged in here, but I go to the canva.com slash features slash photo blur page, upload the image. So in this case, it's already taken me straight to the blur settings tool because I came via that link. I'll just show you if you were going in an incognito window so if you weren't logged in and you did the same thing, this will only take a moment, you get a slightly different view, which is this one. It'll tell you you're logged out. You would go to edit image and then scroll down to the blur effect in the options menu. And so there you get the same, same sort of options. So if you were to do it this way, you would just need to then sign in to save it at the end. In my case, uh, I've got the blur options here. So I want to add blur, brush size I might bring down a little bit, and intensity I might bring down a little bit. And you'll see this kind of gives you, um, so where's my blur tool? Ah, it's gone. Uh, I want to edit, I want to go to the Blur tool. Oh, here it is. All right. So say I want to get rid of this bit of text, maybe uh, this. Oh, didn't do that very well. Do an undo, which is command uh, Z. Let's we'll try that one again. Um, and then, oops, I accidentally went over part that I didn't mean to blur. So you can remove by going back over it. Then maybe you want bigger brush size and turn the intensity down to get a different part of the text. Oh, I'm on remove, sorry, add blur. Whee! Then, no, I think that doesn't quite look like text that I want it to show, so I pull that intensity down again. And the purple just kind of shows you which section you're blurring. So once you've blurred all the, all the different bits that you want, Maybe if you do any other accidents, you can kind of go back and forth until it looks right. And say I'm now finished with all of my edits. Whoops, I've gone over this part. Let's go there. Okay, perfect. Once I'm happy with all of, all of those changes, I can turn off that blur app. Um, it'll sort of save what I've done and then I can download the image as I'm gonna do PNG file type. You can choose what you need. And once I download, they will definitely try and upsell you on a paid account, but you don't have to do that. Um, it says the download is completed. So now I go to my downloads and see what came out. Great. It's got my little blurred text options there. Cool. So I will save that one as a Canva blur demo. And so we can compare. We're going to um, bring this image into Chrome and then use the awesome screenshot uh, browser extension. I've already got this one loaded up here. Once you add this extension, if you want it to be one of the extensions that's pinned at the top of Chrome, you would go into this extensions options list and click the pin. And then once it's pinned, you can move it along if you want it to be the first option like I do. So in this case, I want to capture the visible part of the page and we just make sure that's the part we want. It says it's got a little blue line to show us. I say capture. And then we get the awesome screenshot editing screen. 
I want to annotate and in this case the blur tool is the little um, droplet icon you can see there's some other pro features but the blur is in the free um, options so once you've got the blur tool I'm going to make it the same as I blurred on the first one so we can compare and contrast so that part uh, this part this part I don't think there's an option for how blurry it is in awesome screenshot but you can do things like undo what I've just done or if I get this part and I decide I want to edit it you can click and drag it's a little bit more flexible with the blurred sections I think than Canva so finally we did this little section and I really like the square just aesthetically the way the square boxes work for blurring all right so once we're happy with the blurred sections we say save and then yep that looks good I'll download and again I'll go into my downloads and this is the awesome screenshot blur demo and then if we were to have these up side by side so that one there and this one over here so you can see on the left here this is the awesome screenshot result with the squared off edges only one option of intensity of the blur but you can sort of edit and undo quite easily to get them in the right place looks quite neat and tidy and then this is the Canva result which is a little bit more rough and ready but you can play around with the intensity and the brush size so yeah it just kind of depends which option you want and if you're working on a computer that allows you to use browser extensions or not but yeah two really good options maybe not as customizable or you know advanced as the photoshop blurring options but it's not bad it does the job so i uh, hope this helps